Hello and welcome back to another episode of MechWarrior 4 Vengeance. And in the last one we took on some enemy mech patrols and we managed to salvage a Mad Nog. And we're going to be using that coming up in this episode. But let's see what our next mission is and listen to the briefing. People of Cantares, we mourn the loss of Sir Peter Drasari, who is slain in battle, murdered by the forces that support the usurper Duke William Drasari. Sir Peter's death is tragic, but the struggle to free Cantaris continues. Remember, Sir Peter's death was for your liberation. Even now, the fight rages on. Resistance fighters have successfully disrupted military cargo shipping, sabotaging equipment and services across Cantaris. And the forces that gathered under Sir Peter's banner are still out there. The Steiner forces are not as powerful as they have to be. The fight is not over. The fight is not lost. Remember Sir Peter Drasari. Alright, so it doesn't look like much information there, just a, one of the broadcasts from the rebel stations, but we're going to click into here, Capture Supply Convoy. And no additional information. Alright, so we have three mechs that we can take on this mission. I am definitely going to go into the Vulture, there's going to be the Catapult, and I will set the third person here. I'll take... Uh, Jen for fun. She'll be in the bushwhacker. Also, we're gonna set up these three mechs. Let's do it. So, Jen in the bushwhacker. I could just leave this as it is. She'll probably be fine with it. Um, I could give her a bit more of a varied loadout. Give her a, an ER large laser. You know, a little bit of uh, LRMs. Call it good, sort of thing. Yeah, I don't know. What did she want? She wanted sort of more brawly weapons, right? Although she tends to get her ass killed when she gets up close and brawls them. So, that's a problem she has. She's got to work on. And I'll give her an Ultra 5. And then a couple tons for... I have no concept of what I should use that on. I should just give her a gun that has 10 tons. Which doesn't exist. Or maybe I can give her a pair of twos and free up two tons somewhere? What if I down the speed? Oh yeah, that frees up two tons. Yeah, I can give her a pair of twos. There we go. That'll be fine for Jen. She can, uh, she can use that. But let us take a look. We've got a new Osiris, which we'll just strip for weapons. And we've got a... Vulture. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, oh, this is going to be my mech. And this Omnipod's two pair of large pulse lasers. So wonderful. We're going to take it from Reactive and we're going to change it to Ferrofibrous. We're going to strip these weapons for now. We're going to max out that armor and we'll strip a couple points from each leg so that it nice round tonnage. And we'll see here. We got. Ooh, a laser anti-missile system? Definitely. ECM on our Mad Dog. That'd be very nice in MechWare Online. That would be amazing. I don't know if we need ECM really against the NPCs at all in this game. Yeah, well, we could see if it uh, is an improvement, but I don't know. Let's see. This is definitely going to be a missile mech. We do have these new LRM-20s. Oh, man, those are pretty. And get those on there give them some more ammunition and we could be volleying people with those but we also could just do a, a SRM build on this that might be fun because locking on with the lerms sometimes is a little bit difficult we could do the four SRM fours we could even put this a fifth SRM four into the Omni rack at the bottom but we could do these large pulse lasers, although they are large and hot, so maybe that's not going to work. Uh, we could just put in a plethora of medium lasers and call it good. We do have 12 of them. Although I would like to get a little bit of range here. 300 meters, 250 meters, so we're definitely turning it into a, a brawler. It would be nice to get these... Uh, 
a little bit longer ranged. We could do two, just two larges and the four serms. Heat efficiency is a little low. We can put a little bit more heat efficiency in there. Maybe I can just leave Gonzalez to be our long range master with his LRMs and we can uh, just fill this up with regular medium lasers and have a pretty decent short range punch. And I'm some some silly reason removing these Serm 6s. It's not that I'm doing it intentionally, it's just the game is really derpy on how it, uh, just how you pull things back and forth. It's a little stupid. Um, but yeah. Let's see. This is a regular medium at 1.2 damage. This is 1.5 ER medium. Let's try putting on the two ER mediums as well. There we go. Heat efficiency is a bit lower, but we will up that. And I got half a ton. I hate it when I have half a ton. I want to have this mobility. 80, 85. I want to have the 85. Um, for this next mission, because we're going to have to escort something. And... Yeah, we're going to get half a ton. Or I can just put it all into the armor and just have 0.1 of a ton left over. That's fine. We don't need to have it be that perfect. We'll do all of the lasers on left click and right click for the two SRM... Uh, the two. The, uh, the four SRM six racks... And uh, let's see here, the catapult, which we could actually upgrade even further now that we have s access to uh, Clan Lerm 20s, which are more weight efficient uh, than Lerm 10s. We could put on a pair of 20s, then we can put on a pair of 10s, and wow, oh that's so pretty to see that firepower so high. We'll drop one ton there so we can put an extra ton on the Lerm 20s and probably call this mech good. I don't know if it needs to go this quickly, so we could probably slow it down a bit more. That leaves us with that very awkward half ton. Um, let's see here. Is there any weapons we can do a half ton with? We could change the medium lasers to small lasers and just go more into the lerms. There's always a something we could do. I could just leave them at mediums. I just leave it at that. That's fine. But now it's got Lerm. What is this? 20, 40, 50, 60. Nice. Lerm 60 catapult. We've got a bushwhacker and a vulture. Let's get into the supply convoy. So Operation 3, Mission 2. Capture supply convoy. Steiner is attempting to move, repair, remove, repair. What? Okay. I messed that completely up. Operation 3, Mission 2, Capture Supply Convoy. Steiner is attempting to move repair supplies, technicians, and reinforcements to a dropship, intercept the con convoy, destroy the military forces, and capture the convoy. They are ahead of you on the mountain paths, so move fast. Oh, cool. We're going to have to uh, run them down, basically. Okay, so Vulture... Catapult, Bushwhacker, what's everybody's speeds? Bushwhacker is an 84, just making sure they're relatively the same. Catapult's 96, so he'll be in the front, and I'm 85. So, yeah, the Catapult probably doesn't need it. Probably can get those two and a half tons out, but I'm just not sure what to use them for. We'll just leave it for now. And, uh, I do not want to save my changes. And we'll capture the convoy. Control, this is Omega Lead. We're in the pass. Roger, Omega Lead. Forward has the convoy's last position at Nav Alpha. They'll be moving through the pass somewhere beyond that. You'll need to move fast to catch up. Once you intercept them, destroy the escorts to force a surrender. Hold position once you get them stopped, and we'll get teams in there to recover the gear. Luck. Affirmative. Sensors online. Oh, man. Systems online. This vulture is pretty. Nominal. And a nice thing about it, uh, as I twist around, is I can actually look all the way behind me. And still shoot. There we go. Come up on me. We need to keep moving. Ooh. Come on, turn around. Here we go. 
We gotta wait till it's within that medium laser range, and then drop it. Target destroyed. So yeah, like this mech is like the urban mech where it's got a 360 degree torso rotation, which makes it so very Target nice destroyed. for navigating these uh, alleyways and stuff like that, where I can just look down one way and spin all the way around and continue running forward at 84 um, without uh, having to turn around to see, to see behind me. But we need to move. We got ourselves moving at 84-ish. And we gotta just run down this convoy. Which, I can't remember if I'm supposed to follow the road or if I'm supposed to uh, um, cut across the mountains for this. But, heck, why don't we go straight at Nav Alpha? That shouldn't hurt anyone. Go a little off-roading in our mech. Come on. You can get up these ridges, can't you? Nah, I guess I can't. Alright. Let's try doubling back here. There's a little bit flatter ground over here. And that way we can go directly at Nav Alpha. Probably should have turned back in that direction previously. But yes, here we go. This is opening up here. And now we shall charge straight at Nalvalfa as we round this corner here. Oh, there's a cougar. Excellent. I think this is perfect. This is the way I'm supposed to go. There is the convoy. So what do we got here? We got a cougar, a second cougar, an Argus, cargo, and a vulture. And I believe that's it. A, a smattering of bulldogs and such. What's the guy in the far? Oh, Bulldog. Okay. So, primary targets will be the enemy mechs. Get those dropped. Just to delay it. Let's move in. Enemy missiles coming in. We're going to take the first hits here. And we need to get some nice shots on these guys with our SRMs. Oh, that's going to be great for our damage output. As we drop this guy, you knock him over with the amount of damage we're putting out. Oh, and he explodes! Oh man, clan heavies. You start to really get some good damage. And this mech is actually very cool for the amount of uh, medium lasers I'm firing. I'm gonna hold my shot here with the Serms, because I can finish this guy with some medium lasers. Oh man, even with all these medium lasers, I still can't drop a bulldog in one Target shot. Destroyed. That's unfortunate. We're gonna charge ahead here a little bit. Try to take out this bulldog. In the convoy. Target Good. Destroyed. Convoy's right there. We're gonna double back. We're gonna focus on the enemy mechs. Enemy vulture. Everybody on him. Copy. Copy. Let's get in there. We need to get a little bit closer in order to use our weapons. We need to be within 300 for our IS mediums. There we go. Now we're starting to do some work. Come on here. Die already. Stupid vulture. Or stand still and allow me to just serve you to death. Attack my target. Roger. Roger. Excellent. We're moving in on the Argus. Oh, don't stand still, Argus! I do so much damage with my serums! Oh, and you fell over. And I can just pump another good round into you. No. Nope. Took a little bit of damage, but that's okay. We're not going to use any more serums on this, guys. We can finish them off with just our lasers. We want to conserve a little bit of that ammunition. Excellent. Stop immediately and shut down your engines or we'll turn you into scrap. Well, that was an easy mission. Thanks a lot, Jules. Control, this is Omega Lead. We've got the convoy shut down and the area looks secure. Roger, Omega. Hold the convoy there for now. 
Once the salvage teams secure the area, I'll signal to return to base. Support, upload Nav Omega and move in. Support is rolling. Roger, Control. We'll hold here. I don't think these guys will give us any problems. I would imagine not. Good work. Control out. Target is terminated. Target's destroyed. Well, that was a fairly simple mission. We just had to catch up with the convoy and drop their escorts. Um, from what I remembered in the past, I thought we had to, like, then escort the convoy for a duration, but I guess not. I guess the game was expecting you to run the gauntlet all along the road in order to catch up with the convoy, but I decided to go over land and surprise them. I managed to kick their butt. And let's see, the mission succeeded here. Everybody's ready to go. Are we salvaged in Argus? Another heavy. Excellent. And a whole smattering of weapons. Oh, some a pair of ERPPCs. Oh, that is awesome. We got a bunch of lerms, some more. Oh, man, a ton of MRMs. And just, um, just a nice smattering of weapons. Oh, and our first clan Gauss rifle. That is excellent. Those are always in short supply. But that'll be it for this episode of the MechWarrior 4 playthrough. Thanks for watching, and good hunting.